How do you find the inverse function of a given function, for instance, f of x equals 3x cubed plus 2? Well, if we remember the relationship that functions have with their inverse functions, the x's and y's, or the domain and range, are opposite. So any y value becomes an x value on the inverse function, any x value is a y value on the inverse function. Any x value on f, so the domain of f is equal to the range of f inverse, and the range of f is equal to the domain of f inverse, is what I'm trying to say. Short way of saying that is swap x and y. Okay, now that means that we can simply rewrite Instead of using the f of x notation, we can rewrite that as y. That's just another way of expressing the function values. And if we swap the x and y, then we have pretty much done all the necessary work. Um, but, so I'm just going to literally do that. I'm just going to write x where the y is, was and y where the x was. Um, and then I have now created an equation that can be written in function notation to represent the inverse function. Okay, now um, from this point though, to put it into function notation, you want y to be alone, and then you want to rename it so that it is labeled as the inverse function, the inverse of f. So that's why after this step, we solve for y. Okay, so we're going to do inverse operations. We'll subtract 2 from both sides. So I'm just going to write this down here. x on the left. When I subtract 2 from both sides, get that red color I wanted. When I subtract 2 from both sides, I'll have x minus 2 on the left. Then I'm going to divide both sides by 3, and I'll bring down what I have so far, y cubed now. And then um, from there, to get rid of this exponent of 3, I can take the cube root on both sides. Okay, so now I can rewrite this as, uh, let's use a different color, y equals the cube root of x minus 2 over 3, okay? This could also be written as the quantity x minus 2 quantity over 3 um, to the power of 1 third, okay? And now that it's written solved for y, all you would do is rename it with the f inverse notation. And either one of these ways of writing it is fine. They're both mathematically equivalent. Okay, so that's how you find the inverse um, when given an equation that represents a function, a function in two variables but written as f of x, steps. We love having steps written out. One, f of x with y. Two, swap x and y. Three, solve for y. Four, rename, okay, replace y with f inverse of x. That's it. Four little steps.